Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another MAMG Let's Play of Agatha Knife. Now, when we left off, we got the meat grinding machine, which is awesome. Um, although we scared the zookeeper lady, she completely is against the fact that we're using this for a butcher shop. But regardless, we're going to uh, go back to Nika's place so that we can find out where the farm is, so we can get our own livestock. Because apparently, carnivorism is actually for the uh, the victims and not actually for people. It's for the animals that are about to be slaughtered. It's very weird, but I'm gonna say we'll go upstairs and ask Nika first, cause her mom's not gonna know anything. Hi, Nika. I need to know where her aunt's farm is. Nika, I love you so much, Agatha. Yes, I love you too, but could you tell me where your aunt's farm is? I need to speak to her animals. Of course, for my friend, the butcher, anything. So, I can't remember where my aunt lives. Hang on, I'll see if I can remember. That's not helping at all. Nika, you have a problem. This cognac and cocoa tastes amazing. Are you gonna tell me where your aunt's farm is or just keep getting drunk? Okay, okay, I'm on it. I've just spoken to my aunt. Or at least, it was someone who looked like her. I'm not sure, there were lumps of cocoa floating all over the place, and everything was blurry. Anyway, while we were bathing in a river of cognac, she asked me to tell you this. To make your way to the farm, you'll need to show your faith and pray before the ones who made, uh, with the made-up faces. Source of fits of laughter for some and tears of terror for others. Share your faith once, twice, and thrice. Only then will you find what you search for. <coughs> okay. And what does that mean? No idea. My aunt said you'd understand. Hang on. You weren't given that bottle by a man named Sandro, were you? What? Never mind. Can you repeat what your aunt told you? Cheers! Cool. Can I? I can't leave yet. Wow, amazing. Okay, my aunt says to make your way to my farm, you need to show your faith. Yeah, so we need to go to the clowns. Source of fits of laughter for some and tears of terror for others. Show your faith once, twice, and thrice. Only then will you find what you search for. I don't understand any of it. Do you? A made up face? Fits of laughter and tears of terror. Have faith three times over. Hmm, I'll give that some so a thought and see what I come up with. Do you want me to repeat it again? No need, thanks. Okay. Um... Maybe she doesn't know that her mom's fried. Oh, I'm sure she does. Hey, Nika, I'm out of here. Okie dokie, later! Yeah, Nika, Nika has a problem. I don't know whose problem is worse. Nika's drinking or Agatha's slaughtering of innocent animals? Probably both. In all honesty, neither of them should be doing anything like that. But at least we need to go to the circus. But how do you show your faith? That's what I'm a little bit confused on, is what are we going to do when we get there to prove our faith and our worth? Also, Sandro, don't give children alcohol. That's just wrong, you know? Okay, I think I talked to them, so I'm just going to go, hi, polar bear. Thank you again for the ticket. Okay, so Elsa's show circus. Okay, so... I don't think I can keep going. What's in here? Right now, the inside of that tent must be like my abattoir. All covered in blood and full of pieces of meat. Although I doubt human meat tastes good. Well, that's a good doubt to have, I guess. Alright, Sandro. You're up, buddy. I need to see if I can talk to some clowns, I guess? Okay, my, oh, I do. With the cards, I need him to say- Oh, we can do that! I'm not sure how I'm going to create carnivorism. Uh, talk about these divinations is a bit weird. I'm gonna ask him about the crystal ball, curious about the string of garlic and other stuff. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go. Uh, come and find me if you need help. Okay, but, like, I'm here. Show your faith. I don't know what that means. 
The lion's kids are at the zoo, he's sad because he misses them. Yeah? Um... Hmm... Hmm... Okay. Hello, lion. Hello. Uh, okay, yeah, it worked. Thanks to your recipe, the Zeus cooks machine makes antelope meatballs with the essence of fine savanna herbs and baby wildebeest reduction, or blood reduction. I don't know if they're as good as the ones you make, but your kids like them. Fantastic! I'm so happy! I can't tell you how happy it makes me knowing that my kids can enjoy my meatballs. Thank you so much for helping me. Okay, well, I'm glad you're good. So, I guess we'll talk to Sandro. I, I really didn't know that you could ask him to teleport you back, though. That would have been super helpful earlier. Okay, I can't remember what I have to do. Let's do that. What do I need to find now? Take some animals to the back room of the butchers. Tell them that it's a sanctuary of carnivorism. And that they'll be able to meet the great bleeding pig. And rid themselves of their fears forever. Um... Ask about the crystal ball? Do you use the crystal ball to tell the future too? No, I use it to watch the TV. Oh, okay. What are the garlic books and other things you have here for? They're things I use for my ma for my magic. M -m 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 magic. Most of the books are recipes for slamming shot and nation cocktails. And in the containers are spices and extracts for the most common ones. Okay, let's see what the cards say, I guess. Since I'm already here. Yeah. I don't know what to do next. Will you help me? Of course. Let's see what the cards say. Be like, you're at the circus, which is where you need to be exactly. But we need to go past the circus, right? And I can't leave it. Let's see what the cards say. Why not? What you got, Sandro? Oh. And? This time, the wise man, the drunk, and the fool. Do I have to look for all three? It doesn't have to be like that. Could even be the same person. It's so complicated. Okay, let's see if something occurs to me that has something to do with that in the farm. Very good. Blessings and good night. Okay. So maybe... The wise man, the drunk, and the fool. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I want to go, yes. So, do I need to find them on the street, maybe? Did you work for the circus? Okay, I'm gonna leave. Okay, see you later then. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I I'm not gonna ask if he worked at the circus because he was fat. That's just mean. I just didn't know if he had perhaps had a previous job or if he's been shoved in there forever. So, let's see. The wise man, the drunk, and the fool. I feel like one of them is going to be the guy who was by the uh, garbage bin by the butchers. And the only reason why I didn't have Sandro teleport me back to the butchers was because I wanted to walk back and see if I could meet anybody else. Um, I was going to say, maybe Nika's dad's there, but I doubt it. Hi? What about you? Hi. Hello. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, take care. <laughs> that would be such a weird conversation. He's like, hi, and he's like, hey, how's it going? And you're like, okay, bye now. It's not my fault there were no prompts for me to do anything. Children, are either of you the wise man, the drunk, or the fool? Probably not. Okay, so this guy over here, you have to be something, right? Hello. Stay where you are. This is Stanley's territory. What do you want? Um, what are those things over there? An inflatable bed, a collection of videotapes, yeah, uh, video game console, and newspaper. It's all mine. Okay. Your cat is in your beard warming up. Is that your cat? Yeah, he's my companion. Okay. Well then, I guess I don't have a single clue as to what I'm gonna do. This is weird. Why can I talk to the signs? Nika said that to get to the farm, I had to pray three times before the ones with the made-up face or something like that. And that those beings made some people laugh and others cry. I think the made-up faces that Nika was talking about are the clowns. Yeah, but 
What? Maybe they're gods like the Great Bleeding Pig. Okay, I'm gonna try and do what the message said. Okay. I think you do it like this. Hello, clown. <laughs> I'm not sure you can hear me, but I'm here to show my faith so that I can go to the Allen family farm. Like I said, I've got lots of faith, okay? I hope he heard me. So now this one? How's it going, clown? Um, I already told your friend, but I'm telling you too. I have faith. Lots of faith. Loads of faith. And I want to go to the Allen family farm. I think this is the right way. So where's the third one? What? Uh... Um... Was there a clown in here? No, his poster? <laughs> um, that's... Not good! I have two of the three. But I don't know... Where the other one's at. There has to be another clown poster somewhere. I'm gonna go search the city and see if I can find another clown poster. So going back to what Sandro said, he said it may not be three different individuals. I may be a big dummy, and I might only have to do it three times here. Hello again, clowns. I need to go to Nika's aunt's farm, and I know that you know where it is. Can you help me? Come on, I've asked three times. Yeah, there we go. I did it right, didn't I? Please? Oh! Oh my god, how annoying is this little girl? We were just fine before you turned up. Sure is. What's your problem? Are you the gods of the circus or something like that? Gods? What the hell are you talking about? It's just really strange to see a sign speak. I've never seen anything like it. Well, now you have. But I don't understand. People and animals speak, not signs. Why do you speak? I don't know because I can. Can you get lost now and leave us in peace? No. I'm looking for the Allen family farm. And why should I care about that? This isn't tourist information. But my friend Nika told me to come here and ask you. Well, I think your friend is playing a joke on you. Dude, isn't there a farm just over there? Do you want to shut your mouth? Hey, don't tell me to shut up. There was definitely a farm over there between the mountains. Yeah, stupid. And do you remember the stink of manure every morning? It's true, it stunk. S uh, see? Uh, see how there was a farm? There we go. Of course there was a farm, stupid! That's why we hid it, so we didn't get that awful smell! Ah, uh, I didn't remember that. Idiot! Where is it? I can't see it. My god, you're so annoying! Hey you, we're gonna show her where the farm is. And then we're getting out of here to join a different circus before the stink arrives. Okay. Little girl, move out of the way please. Ready? Let's do this. Oh. Okay. There you go. Enjoy the smell. We're out of here. Whoa, what a smell. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. Th that faith moves mountains. That looks like such a Dr. Slump anime character too. Well anyways, we made it, so that's good. Right? Hello? Oh, you look super nice! That must be Nika's aunt. I should probably remember her from when I was here last time, but I don't. These, these are our sacrifices. Hello, are you Nika's aunt? Hello? She can't hear you. Speak up! Lady! Oh, hello. Are you a bit deaf? Can you say that again? I can't hear very well. <laughs> Whatever. 
Are you Nika's aunt? Yeah, that's me. And you're Agatha, Mrs. Knife's daughter, aren't you? Yes. You've grown so much since the last time I saw you. But you've still got the same hair and those bags under your eyes. Maybe she can meet the animals for free. No. <clears throat> I mean, we could try. Could you send the animals you've got to the butchers? What did you say? I asked if you could send the animals you have to my butchers. Of course, once you have paid for the last 18 livestock deliveries I've sent you. We don't have any money to pay you at the moment. But although things are tough right now, soon we're going to have lots of customers in the store. And lots of money to pay you what we owe you. Yeah. I've just secured an order for burgers, but I need the animals to prepare the meat. And I need money to look after the animals and maintain the farm. So couldn't you give me two or three at least? Sorry, but no. Okay. Well, I'm going. See you later and tell your mom I'm sorry. But I can't give you animals for free. Hello. I love how smooth sheepskins are. Oh, it's like they're lined with cotton. Yeah, but like, you you slaughter them. Hello, little lambs. How are you? Been better. Don't lie. We're scared. Why is that? Well, because they told us that one day a truck will come and take us to one of those butcher places to kill us and then eat us. Oh, of course. So you're scared. Yes, very. Well, I don't really feel like being chopped up into pieces. Cool, because I've come to help you. Help us? How? We heard you say you want to turn us into burgers. It's true. I heard that too. We're not deaf. Hang on while I explain. I'm the prophetess of carnivorism. And what is that? Have you heard of the great bleeding pig? No, but it doesn't sound good. Not at all. Well, the Great Bleeding Pig is the god of carnivorism, which is a religion for animals like you. I was gonna say, how does the aunt not notice this? But she's a little hard of hearing, so even if she's talking to the animals, doesn't hear a thing. That are scared that someone is gonna kill you, chop you up and eat you. We will help you not to be scared of the truck or the knives and make sure you'll be happy forever after you die. What do you say? You're joking, right? No, it's not a joke. If you come with me to the carnivore sanctuary, you can meet the great bleeding pig. You're messing with us. I don't believe it. How are we supposed to be happy if they want to eat us? We're not stupid. But it's true, really. Happiness comes after you die. It says so in the sacred book of carnivorism, I promise. Come with me to the sanctuary and you'll see. This carnivorism thing seems a bit shady to me. Let's see. Where is the sanctuary? At the Knife's Butchers. Get back, crazy girl. Makes sense. Before she said she wanted to make burgers out of us. Murderer. I'm not a murderer. Let her speak. I've had lots of friends like you at the Butchers. And we always have a cool time playing and telling stories. Although later, when it was time to be turned into steaks and thighs, they were scared and they cried until they bled out. That made me so sad that I went to the Great Be Bleeding Pig to ask for help. And he told me that thanks to carnivorism, all the animals can be happy after they die. But before that happens, you need to come with me to the carnivorous sanctuary. This whole eternal happiness thing sounds cool, but I'm not convinced about the part where we have to die first. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe the big pig or whatever he's called can give us a demonstration. That would be cool. Hey, we don't understand this eternal happiness after you die thing. So we want the big bleeding pig to put on a demonstration for us. Well, I'll ask him and see what he says. So you're going to go to that girl butchers? Yeah, well, we'll go to the sanctuary to see the great bleeding pig's demonstration. Cool, let's go. Wait. What? We can't go now, the farmer's right here. And although she's deaf, she'll definitely notice if we leave the stable now. So what do we do? We'll go a bit later when the farmer goes out to sow the seeds in the vegetable patch. Well, okay. Hey, I'm in too. Just in case all that carnivorism thing is true. Oh, really? Uh, go on then, I'll come too. Cool. Hmm. Is there enough room for all of us in that sanctuary? 
I don't think that'll be a problem. I don't want to risk it. I want to be able to see the demonstration. I don't want to miss it either. Can you bring us some entry tickets for the sanctuary? You don't need them. You're all invited. We want tickets. Free though. We aren't paying. That's right. Okay, okay. I'll go and make some tickets for the sanctuary and come back later. Good. We'll be here. That's if a truck doesn't come to take us to a different butcher's. Hurry up. I'm going. I'm going. Wait, ticket? Ticket for this. Do you want this? Not sure about that. Okay. So, I wonder if I need to go back to the, like, the copy machine. Is there anything else over here? Whoa, okay, what's this? It's like a swimming pool, but really high. It must be for adults. Oh, I didn't even notice that the barn looked like a pig. That's kind of neat. Okay. So, we gotta go back. And I guess... We need to make some tickets? So, I could go to the copier. Um and see if that would work. Because I don't know how else we can make tickets. Or I could talk to Sandro. Let's talk to Sandro first. He may have a better idea. Because I don't want to copy these zoo tickets if, like, it doesn't do anything. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay. Sandro, you're right here, so I'm going to ask you first. Hello again. Yeah, here we go. Can we take a look at your car? Oh, whoops. That's not what I meant to do. I meant... I don't know why I thought the cards meant the tickets. Ah, well, we'll see what he says since I'm already doing it. Sorry, we have two fortune readings in one sitting. What you got, Sandro? Is it shocking? Is it terrifying? Is it easy? The cards that appear this time are the white... Oh, again? Um, I was speaking to a smart friend and she's drunk. Ah, magnificent. I think the cards are saying that she can help you convince the animals. If I were you, I'd go and speak to her. Again? I don't know. I'm gonna go outside and see if fresh air helps me think. Wonderful. I'll be right here. So, we're, we have to talk to Nika. She's the drunk? I didn't even realize that she was the drunk. Huh. It makes sense now. But that's, that's kind of clever, actually. See, I was thinking, like, at the very beginning, when I started this whole puzzle thing, I was thinking that I would have to find three separate individuals that were formerly clowns before the circus got shut down. Obviously, that was the wrong way to look at it. Nika was just my drunken friend that was giving me the advice. <laughs> okay. So, we need to cross this street. And I think after that, we'll be right there. So, that'll be neat. Let's see, was this her house? I'm pretty sure this was her house. Yeah. Okay, let's go in here. No, in here. <laughs> Come on. Alrighty. Are you still... Oh, you're not drinking anymore. That's good. Hello. Hi. Have you stopped drinking? Yeah, I don't need to drink anymore. Thanks to a few gulps of that stuff, I've got my inspiration back. And now I'm full speed ahead. Cool. Uh, she'd be interested in the works going on in the outside library. Yeah, ticket. Can you print tickets with your computer? Tickets for what? They're for a party I'm gonna have at the butchers. Are you gonna organize a party? You. Really? Yeah, but it's a party for animals, so you can't come. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I don't like parties. Okay. So, can you print the tickets for me or not? I don't have much ink for the printer. And I need for some pr blueprints and manuals for my project. Although, if you want, I can help you with the design. Print one and you can get photocopies made. How about that? Well, yeah, that'll work. Cool. Let's do this. We'll have design in no time. Let's see. What do you want me to put on the ticket? Um, join carnivorism, the new religion for animals who are scared of being turned into meat. Come to the Carnivore Sanctuary at Knife Butchers and meet in person the God of Carnivorism, the Great Bleeding Pig. What sort of party is this? It's a secret. Okay, it doesn't matter. No reason for you to tell me anyway. We all have our own little secrets. Yeah, we do. Shall I draw some blood? Okay. Cool, we've got a design. Let's print it. 
Where is your printer? Job done! Here's your ticket design for your animal party. Thanks! No problem. That's what friends are for. Well, that was nice of her. Um, okay. I'll leave you with your computer? Yep, computer, desktop, super awesome machine. Call it what you want. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Thank you for the ticket. That was very kind of you. Mom still doesn't even notice that we're here. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the library and see if we can get these tickets photocopied and then we'll be able to give them to all the farm animals and I don't know what we're gonna do for the fact that they want to actually meet the great bleeding pig. That's another problem we're gonna run into. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying it's gonna be weird, you know? But of course, what hasn't been weird in this game? We're talking to animals. We're telling them that there's a great beyond and that they won't be scared and in pain after death and all of that fun stuff. Okay, so I've actually been in the library already because um, I was trying to figure out where the clown people were. So you can't run, which sucks. You have to be quiet in the library. You have to tiptoe around and speak respectfully or something like that. I just need to make some photocopies, so. Kid's still reading this book, huh? He must really like that book. Although I do love love like libraries and bookstores. Like I could I could live in a bookstore and be totally fine for weeks on end, at the very least. Alright, dude, I need you to make me some photocopies of this. Hi. I need some photocopies of an invite I've got here. Okay, but. You've got money, right? Uh, yeah, give me a discount with the access card. Is there any kind of special offer with the photocopy card? Mmm, I don't know what sort of card you're talking about, but I can't give you a discount. Sometimes I distribute leaf leaflets with special promotions. With one of those, I'd be able to give you a discount, but not with strange cards. Sorry. Um, leaflet? Oh, I can use the photocopier. Of course. Duh! Here, put that in there. Okay, now we can use it. Yeah! We don't need the guy. We can just use his photocopier. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. <sighs> okay, so now we'll have him. That'll be good. How many are we printing? Cool, now I've got loads of tickets for the sanctuary. Alrighty, so now I can go back here. And we can get out of here. We can give the animals their tickets. Yay! That's awesome. Uh, who knew? That's the second time like the answer's been right under my nose. Cause first it was with the clowns. I was like, these are the clown places, but I don't know how to get here. And now it was with the photocopying. I'm so bad at this today. Yeah, well, at least you guys don't have to sit through my terribleness too much, right? You just get to watch the uh, the after effects of me solving this thing. Okay, so you guys want some tickets. Here you go. I'm back. Have you got the tickets for the sanctuary place? Yes. I want one. Give me mine. Don't worry, there's enough to go around. Can you give the tickets to all the animals at the farm? Yes, we'll give them out later. Cool, thanks. So we'll be able to see the demonstration by that big pig, right? Yes, I'm gonna tell him now so that he can start preparing. I'm a bit scared. Don't worry, it's gonna be cool. You'll like that great bleeding pig. Carnivorism is gonna make you the happiest animals in the world. You'll see. I hope so because we don't want to be scared anymore. Anyway, we'll see you at the sanctuary later. And when the farmer goes to plant things in the vegetable patch. Okay, see you later. Okay, so we're good. So I guess I might as well just go to Sandro, ask him to teleport me to the the uh, my house, then we can get ready, whatever that means. Okay, then here we go. Hey, Sandro, what's up? I've convinced the farm animals to come to the sanctuary. 
Well, to the butchers, I mean. Fantastic! But they don't like the idea of being killed so they can be eaten. They're not convinced by the idea of eternal happiness yet. I understand. And what did you say to them? That at the sanctuary they'd meet the great bleeding pig. And that he'd carry out a demonstration to help them believe and not be scared anymore. A demonstration? Yes. They got all excited and wanted tickets to see the demonstration at the sanctuary. Like it was a party. So I made a load of tickets so they can all come. Perfect. What? I did the right thing then? You did exactly what needed to be done. I think the demonstration will go really well. Cool, because I thought I messed it up. Not at all. Don't worry. So, the animals are at the butcher's already? Not yet. They're going to escape when the farmer goes to sow the seeds and isn't watching. Okay. In the meantime, we're going to look for something elegant to wear to the party. Hmm, but what are we going to do about the demonstration if the Great Bleeding Pig doesn't exist? I just read something in the sacred book that could solve that problem. I can't find it just now, let me take another look. To get things started, why don't you go and look for something that you could use as a carnivorous habit? What's that? It's what, uh, it's what those who represent a religion wear, people like you. And what do I need that for? The habit is just another piece of the puzzle that will make carnivorism more believable. When you wear it, the animals won't see a young butcher. They'll see the person that the great bleeding pig sent to represent him. Because, who are you? I'm Agatha Knife, the prophetess of carnivorism. Precisely. Cool. But does the habit have to be a dress? Because I don't like dresses. No, no. It could be a long jacket, or a cape, or a dressing gown that you'd wear around the house. What about the apron I use when I kill the animals? It should be something a bit more elegant and mysterious, don't you think? A long tunic would be better. Hmm, okay, I guess. I'm gonna look for something that I can use as a carnivorous habit. Wonderful. I'll keep reading what you wrote in the sacred book, and with the information I find, I'm going to prepare an amazing carnivorous party. Word. Cool. I'll see you later, Sandro. See you soon. Okay, I think I know where I need to go. Because I've pretty much ventured into every single shop when I um, was looking for the clowns. So, looking for the clowns that didn't exist where I thought they were gonna. But yeah, I, I think I know where I need to go. Because there was one store that had a very long cloak or tunic or something of the sort. And that was... Down this way. It's the anime store, in case you guys are wondering. It's the Animu place! Because I had like a Full Metal Alchemist jacket. Um, so I think that's where we need to go. I don't think it's gonna be the place with the accessories here. I don't think that's gonna work. Um, especially since Agatha said she doesn't want to wear a dress. So, I think we're gonna be heading in the right direction if we go over here. I don't know why this music is so just pleasant. You know, I don't even mind it. I've been listening to it for so long, and yet I'm totally fine with it. This place! Let's go in here. This. That looks like a dressing gown or a Snuggie. I don't understand why it's inside a glass case like it's something valuable. Okay, let's talk to her. The gown from the glass could be really useful, yeah. Hello, I've got a question. Tell me. How much is the dressing gown in the glass case? It's not for sale, and it's not a dressing gown. Have you seen the Interstellar Wars movies? No, I don't watch TV. What about going to a cinema? No. The dressing gown, as you call, uh, as you call it, is a tunic worn by the G Gertie Warriors? Who are goodies in the Interstellar Wars movies. In fact, that was a tunic that was part of the wardrobe for the first film. You probably won't be impressed because you're not into this sort of thing. But before you is the only tunic of its kind in the world. That's why it's in a glass case. Right. And how did you get it? Completely by chance. The homeless guy that hangs around here gave it to me. In exchange for a few hentai and a dakimakura of Misa Amane. Wow. 
Okay then. I was lucky because I don't think he knew that the tunic, well, what the tunic was worth. Do you know if the homeless guy has more tunics like that one? He can't have. There's only one and I have it. If you find something similar, it'll be a copy or a fancy dress costume. How much are you selling it for? I told you already, it's not for sale. Not even for a case full of money. That tunic is priceless. Besides, what do you want it for if you don't even know the interstellar wars? None of your business. Hmm. Would you exchange it for something else? There's only one thing I would exchange the the GD GD tunic for? I don't know. But I think it would be even harder to find. I don't even know if it exists. What is it? The Enigma Rillian? A legendary book that contains all the answers to all the enigmas of cinema, comics, and video games. Does Cobbs' totem topple during the credits of Inception? Who would win in a fight to the death between Commander Shepard, Marcus Phoenix, and Master Chief? What in the hell does the ending of Evangelion mean? Legend has it that the ending of Marillion has the answer to this and many other questions. I need it. Okay, and where can I find that book? If I knew that, don't you think I would have gone and found it myself? Besides, like I told you, I don't even know if it really exists. Okay. I'm out of here. See you later. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and save here. And uh, next time we will look for this book. And then maybe we can get that cloak and get this party started. Literally a murder party. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next time AMJ. Let's play.